Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, June 19, 2010. This week, Swatch Watch 4. How to use the eyedropper tool outside of Photoshop and Elements. Over the last few weeks, our tips have focused on using the Color Swatches panel to select colors for your digital projects. This week, we'll pull color from a website or document by dragging the eyedropper tool outside of the software. When you're working on a digital project and you found the perfect color combination online, you may like to create a custom color swatch using these colors. You could take a screenshot of the website or download images from the web and then pull them into Photoshop or Elements, but if you'd like to save yourself a few steps, some time, and computer resources, you can try this method instead. Open the website that contains the color scheme that you'd like to use. This might be a color blog, a paint company website, your favorite football team website, a decorating site, or Adobe Cooler, for example. The web is really a treasure trove of color combination ideas. With your website open, the next step is to open a new document in Photoshop or Elements. It doesn't matter the size or shape of your new document, you just need to have a document opened. Then minimize Photoshop or Elements so that you can see both the software window and the website window at the same time. Get the eyedropper tool by pressing the letter I on your keyboard and change the sample size here in the options bar to 3x3 or 5x5. Now, if you move the eyedropper tool outside of the software now, it turns into a cursor. But if you click on your document and then hold down the shift key, you can drag the eyedropper outside of the software to pick up any color. You'll see the foreground color chip change as you move over the colors on the web. When the foreground color changes to the color that you like to keep, you can let go of the clicker and then just drag your cursor over here to the color swatches panel and click to create a new color swatch. I'm going to rename it and click OK. Repeat the process to pick up the rest of the colors that you'd like to use. I'm going to click shift and come over here and pick up the gray and then make a new swatch. This technique works equally well with any document, icon, or image on your computer screen, as well as it works with websites. Be sure to check back next week when I'll answer a customer request with a tip on how to create key lines. These are the thin lines that frame photos, elements, or your background. I always enjoy hearing from you. Is there a technique that has you stumped? Email me at howtoatdesignerdigitals.com with your idea and I may be able to help you with a video tip too.